We finally have winter in Dying Light 2 but this time it's with snow. Yes, the once familiar streets of Villador has now transformed into this winter wonderland covered in a blanket of snow. And with that, Techland has also added a lot of new stuff in the game that you guys are gonna love. So let's check out this new Winter Tales update that's currently out for all platforms. And yeah, hold on to your UV flashlights and subscribe to stay human. Now the first thing this new update has added are these new weapon types, like this pole arms that you can get after killing the enemies that carry these weapons or by simply visiting the weapon vendors. By the way, I'm not gonna lie, these pole arms are amazing and are a really good addition to the game. Also, what's crazy is that these pole arms comes with a completely new finisher. Talking about the finishers, what if I tell you that Techland has added a completely new way for you to do finishers? Now, instead of draining the stamina of your enemy, you can now do a successful finisher right after performing a perfect dodge, a perfect parry, an x-ray attack, and even when you release yourself from the bite to grab, you can still do these finishers. So I use thanks to Techland for listening to her feedbacks. In fact, they've also added some new finishers for finishers and two-handed weapons. Next, we have got this new nocturnal weapons which are completely new type of weapons specifically designed for better effectiveness during night time. Now these weapons are like the experimental weapons that will only come in high rarities starting from unique to exotics. But the question is what makes this weapon so different from others? Well it's because of the special affixes that only triggers at night. So some of these weapons are designed to focus on handling specific types of infected so you will have to choose wisely which one you want to bring into the fight. Anyways, these weapons are really powerful but there is a catch to it. So the more you use this weapon, the more immunity it drains which means you can't be using this weapon all the time. So if you spam this weapon too often then you will lose your immunity so quickly and you might end up dying. Also the way you earn these weapons is by fighting volatiles, backpack biters and other special infected or by just simply visiting Harper or the Pilgrim Outpost. Honestly, the Pilgrim Outpost probably is the easiest way to get it and you need to seriously get these because they look awesome and they are overpowered. Plus, these weapons also glow in dark. Now, there are some more weapons that Techland has added in this update, but before that, a word from our sponsor, War Thunder. If you're someone who loves vehicle combat games, then War Thunder is definitely the game for you. This, without a doubt, is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. I mean, it got more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters and ships that you can use in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. And not just that, every vehicle you use is incredibly detailed and modeled down to its individual components, which actually offers a highly immersive combat experience for the players. And yeah, if you're wondering where can I get this game, well, it's available for free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So if you're looking for a fast, action-packed match with realistic and tactical experience, then my friends, you won't be disappointed because War Thunder offers intense PvP battles at various emotion levels for all play styles. So whichever experience you prefer, you will find it here. And just to make that experience even better, War Thunder has has incredible graphics and details that do in 4K resolution with authentic sound effects. And don't forget about the music creating an atmosphere to fully immerse yourself in. By the way, I really love how this game has a collection of vehicles ranging from 1920s to the present day and on top of that, the interactions between ground, air and sea vehicles is just amazing. So what you guys are waiting for, go play War Thunder now on PC, PlayStation or Xbox using my link in the description or from the pinned comment. And by using my link, new players across all platforms including the ones who haven't played War Thunder for at least 6 months can claim a large free bonus pack, which includes multiple premium vehicles, premium account and an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles and much more. All of that comes free for limited time only, so no more waiting, go play War Thunder and have fun. Now coming back to Dying Light 2. The next weapon Teclan added in this game are the new throwable weapons. So we finally have shurikens in Dying Light 2 and it's something I love using in the first game and seeing it make a return just made my day. By the way, you can throw 3 of these at a time and as Teclan said, if you combine this with Katana and the ninja outfit then you sure will be a ninja in Villador. Also you can get the blueprint for the shurikens at the craftmaster at this location. Next we are finally getting another throwing knife in the game, a new PK tool aka an exploding knife. And yes you can throw them at your enemies and it will make a beep sound before it blows up and I honestly needed these for a video so I'm happy it's finally added. By the way you can get the blueprint for the exploding knives from this craftmaster at PK ship. Next check out these new items at Shinshu and Harper the chapter agents. So basically Harper has got the nocturnal weapons and Shenshu has got the new pole arm for sale. Also look at this, people are gonna go crazy when they look at this new rarity for this katana. Next we are getting some new enemy variants in the game. So we got 3 new biters from which one of them will carry a deadly gas tank on its back. And if you get too close to it then the biter will release a deadly cloud around himself and we all know what it does. By the way there is also a viral who carries a similar gas tank. Now the next biter is called the freezing biter. So if you hit the biter it will basically apply freezing effects to the zombies around him. 
which means that it will basically freeze all of them. Then we got the third biter which is called incinerating biter which throws a fire puddle around himself and going too close is definitely not recommended. Also virals have not turned more vicious and some of them can even spit in your direction to keep you away. Then we have a new goon variant that will basically scream and alert nearby banshees that will come out from the dark corners to basically attack you. Next is the good news for PlayStation 5 users as Techland has added PlayStation 5 cross-chain safe support for Dying Light 2. So yes, finally PlayStation 4 users can bring their safe files in PlayStation 5 version of the game. And all you have to do is just transfer the save from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5 using a USB or the cloud storage. And if you do that correctly, then you're basically done. But just in case you also want to transfer the achievements, then pause the screen and follow these instructions. Next, we're gonna check out this new winter event which has also added a lot of stuff in the game. Starting with the snow which has now covered most of the areas in Villador and with that you will also find these Christmas decorations in several locations. Like travel to PK Metro Station or Fisheye and you will see these beautiful decorations from the survivors who are basically making a Christmas tree. But it's not always this good in Villador. We also have Baka who has returned again with the new missions and rewards. And I'm gonna be honest with you these rewards are surely special. Like we got the snowball that you can use and throw at your enemies to freeze them on the spot. And being honest I did not get a chance to test this on a co-op player but if you have then let me know in the comments below. The next reward is this axe which not just looks amazing but also glows and it also freezes your enemy to death. But the best part when you throw this weapon at your enemy it actually comes right back to you. Now this really makes me feel like Kratos. Then we also have this bow that comes with a deep freeze arrow that you know freezes the enemy when you hit them with the arrow. By the way there is another thing that will make you really happy. So if you love the airdrops in the first game then I'm sure you will be happy to know that airdrops have returned in Dying Light 2 especially for the winter event. Now in order to get these airdrops you'll have to complete missions for Baka. So the more missions you do for him the higher your rank will be and basically with every level up you will get a level that you can drop here for Santa. And once you're done dropping a letter here you will see a plane in the sky dropping an airdrop. But let me tell you one thing, getting the airdrop won't be that easy because it will be protected by Uncle Snow and in case you die while fighting him the airdrop will be destroyed. But let's just say you succeeded and got the airdrop. So after opening the airdrop you'll actually have a chance to claim one of six unique items forming a mischievous helper elf set. Or in some other cases you might get this new skull axe which is my favorite axe. By the way there's another way of getting that helper elf outfit and it's actually quite unique. So you remember the Christmas tree I talked about earlier it's basically near the bazaar. So what you can do is go there and check it out plus you can also upgrade it. Now to upgrade it it will actually require something called decoration bundle that you can only get from Baka. So the decoration bundle will be at the bottom of the rewards and you will just need to buy it once. After you got it you can go ahead and use that to upgrade the Christmas tree. Isn't that amazing? Anyways now you would have realized that it's asking for something else called Star Trooper to upgrade it again. Well you can get the Star Trooper from Santa's present that you usually steal from airdrops. Like when you get close to an airdrop just steal this presents first and then open one Santa present and you will get a Star Trooper from there. Now go ahead and upgrade the tree again. After that for the final transformation you will need the ultimate adornment from Baka. So once you have it go ahead and upgrade the Christmas tree and watch it glow. After that you can pick all the presents nearby and even grab the mischievous helper elf out outfit. By the way don't forget to grab a bomka grenade that you will actually see on top of the tree. So grapple and grab it and use the limited grenade wisely. So guys these are some of the unique rewards that Baka has. But other than that every event always comes with a different quest and rewards of its own. And just like that winter event is no exception to that. So we have got this participation goal in which you need to collect one winter tales present of any kind to get 800 Christmas sweets as a reward. Now obviously these 800 Christmas sweets can be exchanged at Baka for some rewards. Next we got this personal goal in which you need to collect 60 winter tails present of any kind and the reward for completing this goal is a winter bow with a deep freeze arrow blueprint. Next and the final goal is the global goal in which the community in total needs to collect 9 million winter tails present and the reward for completing this goal is a gingerbread infected charm. Now that my friends was everything from the event but Techland has also released a new bundle called the Grim Santa bundle that's worth 500 dying light points. And I'm not gonna lie it's a really cool looking outfit and also got a really cool weapon. So my friends if you're interested you can always buy it from the in-game menu. By the way make sure to get the Hakon bundle because it's free for a limited time only so make sure you get it as soon as possible. Next Techland has made a change with the Night Runner tools in the new game plus which simply means that now after completing a game and entering new game plus all your Night Runner tools will stay with
with you. In fact, for the players who already were in the new game plus before this update, will also receive the missing tools on level 2. By the way, just for your information, in some part of the stories, these tools might be disabled to ensure smooth experience. Then finally, a good news for all the map creators, including my friends at Renaissance team who are making the Elysium map for Dying Light 2. So Techland has finally implemented LODs with this update, meaning all those lags from the custom maps will now be gone forever. In fact, they've also added over 600 Hellraid assets for the community. Now obviously with every update, there are some fixes done in the game. Like on PC, players can now choose another kit to bind the expert grappling hook. Then Techland has adjusted the Coric Charm to 40% damage buff at 25% of weapon durability. Then you can now successfully dismantle a Manica shield. In fact, you can also buy a blueprint for this shield from the vendor. After that, Techland has made some changes in a lot of cutscenes in the game and thanks to Mopt, I will be able to show you one of the cutscenes that has changed in this update. Now this was just one cutscene and there are more of them so I'll be showing you all of them in a different video so make sure you are ready for that. And just like that there are more fixes done to the game and if you want to go through all of these changes then you can pause and read these things that has been fixed in the game. And that my friends will be everything that was added in this new update. Also if you want to learn more about the secret changes then make sure to subscribe to my channel as I will be bringing that video very soon. And finally don't forget to download War Thunder from the link in the description it's free and by using my link to download you will actually be getting a large free bonus pack and a lot of free stuff that you can see on the screen. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay human.